Tell me your problem. Have you ever heard of the Prophet Arvid? Yes. I am surprised, but you probably only know the basics. But there's something about Arvid, something about those early works that doesn't make sense. And I can't work out why. But will they let me in the archives to study his writings? No. I sneaked in, they threw me out. I was lucky to avoid re-education. Concentrate on what's right here, right now, they told me. It is only possible to change the future if you draw the correct conclusions from the past, they said. So you need access to the archives? No. Well, yeah, that would be great, but for now, I just need a book. All that I want is a copy of Arvid's teachings. There has to be a written copy, or a recorded copy somewhere. It's just not available to us out here. And that bugs me. So, do you think you can get into the archives and get it for me? Who says I'll help you? Nobody. But, please, I need your help. I beg you. I want to understand why they won't teach us these things. I would like to give you the following, in any case, before you are on your way. I am certain that I can get something from the recordings that will be of use to all of us. Then, maybe, I'll finally understand what our purpose is. Why is this book so secret? Because we are to serve Kalan in combat and not to interpret his words. They say we are missing the necessary vision to understand his divine message. But I would like to learn that for myself instead of having it spoon-fed to me. Maybe it's nothing. But I can't let it go. What can you tell me about the Archives? It's a store of knowledge from before the comet hit. And it is where all information found in the rest of the world is brought. Our archivists are attempting to glean all sorts of information from the scraps of data we were able to retrieve from outside the Hort. The work is very time intensive. So the archivists don't like it at all when people interrupt their work. So, they will have you thrown out if you manage to get into the Archives without authorization. I will get you the book from the Archives. Thank you. This is one mystery I can't wait to solve. Any suggestions for how I get into the Archives? I've been thinking about that, and there are three ways. You could watch to see when Carl, the guard on the Archives, leaves his post. That might take a few hours, and I personally have never seen him leave his post. But hey, he has to move at some point, doesn't he? Or you could access the security console and put your name on the access list. But the simplest and most obvious solution is for you to join the clerics. State your business, only officially authorized personnel may enter. The Archives are sacred stores of knowledge. Our faith preserves us, and we preserve the wisdom of our ancestors. What wisdom? The scriptures, the writings, the texts, the foundation of our faith, and old world manuals that support our technology. Here the worthy study. Here the worthy learn. And unless you're worthy, you aren't coming in. Forget it. I was about to go anyway. Then don't let me keep you. Kalan, bless your path.
stop you. Alt. State your business. Only officially authorized personnel may enter. How many times are you going to repeat that? Until you understand that only authorized personnel may enter. Forget it. Then don't palop. Name added to the access list. That should get me in. Alt. State your business. Only officially authorized personnel may enter. How many times are you going to repeat that? Until you understand that all... Forget it. Then... Hello. Another thing about... Is there a copy of Arvid's teachings in the Archive? Of course. All of Arvid's wisdom that remains is stored here. What is in the book? His prophecies and principles of life, around which we guide our lives. The greatest portion of Arvid's knowledge is encrypted. Even today, we are struggling to understand it. Encrypted? In what way? Some of it is in code. Some of it is written as parables. So is open to interpretation. It is for those who concentrate on study to reveal these mysteries to us. As I said, only a few of us can truly understand his words, and so see the wisdom of Kalan. Can I read Arbid's teachings? You? No. Why not? Because only those chosen to study his writings may do so. You have not been chosen. I think I've heard enough about that. Good. Do you also study the old world? Of course. If we repeat the mistakes of our ancestors, it could lead to another catastrophe. That is one of the reasons why we only task those with the strongest wills to study. Who knows what corrupting influences these artifacts could have? What are you studying? Everything that brings us closer to our goal. What does that mean? It means passing Kalan's tests. Kalan only takes those who are pure, and so to preach his words, we must be the purest of all. And knowledge, facts, interpretation, and analysis are the purest form of all devotion. And science is the purest of all the forms of study. It brings clarity to the mind. To achieve purity of the soul, we must understand ourselves. The Berserkers and the Outlaws will never have the discipline for that. They live in the moment. We have committed ourselves to the future. May Kalan open the infinite skies for us all. Where do you get the material to study? It takes persistence and luck. We send out our reclamation squads to search Old World ruins. First, the selected area has to be pacified. As soon as that is done, we begin salvaging the valuable pieces and bringing them here. How can I get on a reclamation squad? You can't. We have specialists for that work. Trust me, you wouldn't want to. Alt, stay. How many times are you? Get out of the way. The archives are restricted. Why should I let you enter? Because I'm authorized to enter. We will see. One moment. Hmm, you're right. But I don't remember seeing your name on the list beforehand. It seems you are authorized. Please enter, but I beg you, do not disturb the archivists. Remember. Silence is a virtue.
This is a place of study. Be respectful.
quit sneaking around. I can see you, idiot. What are you doing here? I'm certain of it. I have what you wanted. Unbelievable. Now, I can finally read Arvid's original text. You really did me a big favor. That will do. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glad to help. Oh, yeah. If I find anything interesting in these writings, I will let you know. That's the least I can do for you.